daily arithmetic challenge. Pa On your screen now are the first six questions for you to have a go at. Pause, have a go, press play. There are a couple more on the next slide, ten in total. And when you've done all ten, we'll go through the answers together. Good luck. Okay, time to go through the answers then. So first question, so first question then, we've got 270 divided by 3. Now for this method, straight away I could see that there is a relationship between the number 27 and 3. So I've actually divided by number by 10, and instead of doing 270 divided by 3, I've done 27 divided by 3, and I know 9 lots of 3 are 27. So therefore, if 27 divided by 3 is 9, 270 divided by 3 must be 10 greater because 270 is 10 greater than 27 which gives me the answer 90. Number 12, 5400 divided by 9 and again if I take those zeros away so I divide it by 100 because I have two zeros I can see that there is a relationship between 54 and 9 so I know that I multiply 9 by 6 to get to 54. So if I am going to multiply 9 by 6 to get to 54, I must divide it by 600, which is 100 greater, to get to uh, 5,400. Number 13, I've got 60 divided by 15. So for this one, I just went up in multiples of 15. So I've got 15, 30, 45, 60. So I can see 15 goes into 60 four times. Number 14, so this one is a missing number question, but actually it is just the answer that's missing. It's almost like they've written the question backwards. So all I need you to do is do the simple subtraction that's on the screen, which you can see I've done here, and I've got 4,921. Number 15, so this is a partitioning question. This is all about place values of digits within your number. So as you can see, the first number has been written down for you, which is 3 million, because the first number that you get to, if you read the number across, is 3 million. The next number is a zero. That means there's no um, value in that column, so we don't need to worry about it. We move on to the next number, which is a five. Now, as you can see underneath, I have then written out the five with the remaining zeros afterwards, which means that the place value of that digit there is 50,000. Number 16. It is 10 subtract 5.4. So as you can see here, I've written out 10 and 5.4 and actually I've put my decimal point and my placeholder in my 10 to make the number make sense to me in terms of place value and then it's just a simple subtraction using exchange in. Turn them over the same denominator three times, uh, sorry if I wanted to turn them over the same denominator I would do 3 times 7 which is 21 so that they're both over that same number. So 3 lots of 7 is 21, 3 lots of 5 is 15 so my new fraction is 15 over 21 and 3 over 21 is already over that denominator so I don't do anything to it. I then simply add together 15 and 3 which is 18 and then 21 stays the same, you don't add your denominators together. Number 18. 0 0.1 divided by 100 so this means my number is going to be smaller than my original because I'm dividing it and because I'm dividing it by 100 my digits are going to move two place values smaller because there are two zeros in 100 so as you can see below my one has moved down two place values my zero has moved down two place values my decimal does not move it stays in the same place and then I pop two zeros in the gaps that I had either side Number 19, 3 quarters of 1,000. Nice and easy, 3 quarters is made up of 1 half and 1 quarter, which are easier to find. So I found 1 half of 1,000, which is 500. I've then found a quarter, which is half of a half. So half of 500 is 250. And then I add together 1 half and 1 quarter, which is 500, add 250 to give 750. And then my last question is 785 multiplied by 23. So the first thing I would do is circle my two, do three times all of my digits above there, which gives me 2,355. And then I repeat the same process underneath by timesing my three digit number by two. However, remember that this is 20, not two. So the first thing I do is pop a zero there. 
and then I do my multiplication as normal. And then last but not least, I add together those two answers, which gives me uh, 18,055.